Puppet Master! profile, Lenore Ramsey. I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Get me out of here, mate. They started talking behind my back. I can hear them. I think they know. Fuck, if that's true, I'm done. Get me a transfer to a different prison or, or bail me out or... I don't know. You're the fucking counsellor, aren't you? If I don't get out, I'm dead. changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down.
kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? Right. Um... No, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... says they slept like a baby, clearly never had one. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. She wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next, she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. see why you hired this one she doesn't ever seem to know where you are she won't put you on the phone she's a good assistant Lenore huge potential give her time I'm sure you'll walk to her just keep an eye on her will you I don't trust her Grace said you promised to help with her science homework oh shit I, I 
I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? We should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? Or you don't trust Dad? Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you and me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should it? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Eric, is that you? Fuck, my head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you... That girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who'd have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? <laughs> She's pretty messed up though, man. You know all that stuff we were joking about before? Yeah. Yeah, that. I'm serious. Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call me. Deeply intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means... what? 
Exactly. I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, who am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? identified Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado I knew they'd be sending their inside man but I never knew he was oh my lord how you doing we have I'm Jasper and I'm very pleased to meet you you can cut the flattery Mr. Prado I know who you are our employer has filled me in filled you in lucky bastard I'm sorry nothing nothing I get it you're a professional type I suppose you want to see the set up. Cross the eyes, dot the T's. All that shot. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me round. Their first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Did you watch that film in the end? I don't remember, mate. I think I just got drunk and passed out on the sofa. <laughs> 